Good morning, HF, and welcome to a brand new episode of the BTV News Show. I'm your teacher guest anchor, Miss Wallace, the Spanish National Honor Society sponsor. And I'm her guest anchor, Fatima Hernandez, and I'm the SNHS secretary. Happy Pie Day to everyone. Yes, you may be wondering what I mean by that. Is it National Eat a Cherry Pie Day? Is it National Bacon Apple Pie Day? No again. We're talking numbers today. Pie, like 3.14. Ah, yes. That's about as far as I can go. 3.14. But as you'll see tomorrow, our show will feature some students who can list the numbers much further than me. We're also featuring some pie eaters in a contest that should be a lot of fun. It's all coming up on our Pie Day Special Edition show tomorrow. Some cool news took place yesterday. The man known as Mr. Freeze visited our school yesterday and spoke in the South Gym to many of the science classes. He's always a lot of fun with really corny jokes, but does some pretty cool stuff too. Yeah. He used liquid nitrogen to do his experiments, and in the process, freezes stuff, makes stuff explode, and has a lot of fun with the audience. All in all, it was a great experience for everyone who attended, and a cool way to learn about science. Alright, we've got regular announcements today, plus we'll talk about the March Madness contest you and your Compass class can get involved in to win some prizes. So let's get started. Attention seniors, class of 2023 senior t-shirts are now on sale at the Campus store for $10. HF Auto Snack Shop will be open after school Monday in the South Cafeteria. If you want sour airheads, chips, cookies, along with cold sodas or Gatorades, make sure you stop by. Interested in LGBTQ plus rights or allyship, or just want a safe space to be yourself? The Gender Sexualities Alliance will be having a meeting today where we'll be having an open art day. So bring any art that you are currently working on or create art using the supplies we provide. Hope to see you from 3.30 to 5.30 in G5. Bus passes will be available. The Model United Nations Club is looking for members interested in getting involved in attending our spring, spring conference. Come to room 324 North Monday, 320 after school to learn more. Email Miss Carol with questions. Chinese Club meets on Thursday. We'll try some authentic Chinese soy milk and play some Chinese games. Looking forward to seeing you this week. Ada Club is looking for musicians and singers solo or group to perform at our parent student magazine showcase on April 26th at 6 p.m. Please send a video or audio recordings by April 10th to be considered. Email your file or YouTube link to Ms. Mustafa at smustafa at hf233.org. See Ms. M and A11 for more information. Summer school registration for those students needing behind the wheel or classroom and behind the wheel will be completed through an online form that will be available at 7.30 a.m. on March 15th on the HF High School website. It will be a first come first serve basis. Payment is required to register. The cost is $100 for behind the wheel only or $175 for classroom and behind the wheel. Pay payable online through the PowerSchool Parent Portal. Students must turn 16 years old by November 1st, 2023 to register for summer school driver education. Summer school driver education will be held from Tuesday, June 6th to Monday, July 3rd. Attention all Key Club members. Today in room E2, the Cancer Support Center will visit our school and take a picture of our club with our donations. Additionally, Key Club elections for our new officers for the 2023-2024 school year will also be the next week, Tuesday, March 14th. You must be present to cast your vote. Lastly, Key Club has some nice upcoming spring events. Please check your Key Club Google Classroom for upcoming events not mentioned in these announcements. On Saturday, March 11th, HF Science Olympiad Club competed in the regional tournament. The team consisted of Celeste Carillo, Addison Sextonson, Alice Crema, Lula Pollard, Madison Dickens, Charlotte Simowitz, and VTV's very own Jasmine Walker. They competed against powerhouse schools such as Hinsdale Central and the Naperville's. In the very competitive event of bridge building, Madison Dickens and Jasmine Walker took fourth place out of 15 teams. We have a few announcements in sports, so let's send it over to Aaliyah Hobson with the news. Thanks guys, we've got some scores for you in a bit, but first, here are some sports announcements. Attention JV and freshman wrestlers, the Winter Awards Ceremony will be this Thursday, March 16th in the Viking Room from 6 to 8 p.m. 
Congratulations to freshman Robbie Williams on qualifying for the freshman sophomore state wrestling tournament. Congratulations to both varsity and freshman sophomore boys track and field teams for each earning team championships at the Bob Niehels invite held at North Central College this past Saturday. Varsity event champions include Aaron McIntyre in the triple jump, Soshim Ozo in the long jump, Hoptami Epley in the 1600 and the 4x400 relay of AJ Mitchell, Zoga Adiega, Nelson Speaks, and Robert Scott. Freshman, freshman sophomore event champions include Kellen Macklin in the long jump and triple jump, Jaden Banks in the 55 meter dash set a new record, the 4x400 relay of Kellen Macklin, Joaquin Jordan, Miles Ellis, and Charles Williams set a new meet record, and a special shout out to the freshman sophomore 4x200 relay of Charles Williams, Miles Ellis, Nolan Lewis, and Joaquin Jordan that not only won but also set a new school record and meet record. The team competes this Friday at Olivet Nazarene University in the SWSC Indoor Championship. That's all the sports we have for today. If you have an announcement or school you would like featured, please send it to vtv at hf233.org. It's March, and that means March Madness is here. And every year, VTV does a contest for the classes to get involved in. We'll end with sports today with Jack and Preston talking about how you can get your class involved. In the Sports Corner, I'm Leah Hobson. What's up, HF? It's March. We all know what that means. March Madness. This year, we're hosting our annual tournament, but with a twist. Your Compass class will sign up and be randomly given a team just like every year. However, we wanted to switch things up this year. Before the Sweet 16 starts, we're going to have a reseeding of the tournament. One student from each remaining class is selected to compete in a free throw shooting competition to determine the redraft order. So that means if you win the free throw contest, you can choose any remaining team and make that your class's team. If you want to sign up, email Mrs. Mr. Sosowski by the end of the day. Teams will be announced on the live show Thursday. And don't worry, there's still a prize involved for, each, for the Compass class that wins. From BTV, I'm Preston Lund. Teachers, make sure if you want your Compass class to be involved, you email Ski by the end of the day today. Please add how many students are in your class and what room number you are in. The first 64 teachers who email will get into the contest. The VTV staff had an exciting weekend. They were able to travel down to Champaign, Illinois to be the broadcast crew for the Unified Special Olympics Basketball State Championship. Eight teams competed in two divisions and the VTV members were there to broadcast the games live. They were able to interview the coaches and players and stream the game to thousands who were watching. From what I heard, they had a little bit of fun too. So congrats to them, to them for such an amazing weekend. All right, that's all we have for you today. Look for Pie Fun on tomorrow's show, and then we'll be back the rest of the week with our regular shows. I'm Miss Wallace. And I'm Fatima. We'll end the show today with a look at VTV's legendary trip to broadcast the Unified State Championships. Have a great day.
Do you